This is Hair Tutorials with my hairstyle EXO. Before starting, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe my channel and click the thumbs up for this video. Thank you and welcome to the my channel. I hope you will like what you see. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this cute little bow and some waterfall braids to braid it to the wall and hair. I start with the waterfall braids, so take the hair piece from the side and separate it in three equal sections. Then start to bring hair alternately over the middle one, so over, over and third time over, then leave the waterfall section. Add hair on the top, bring it over, then over and third time over, leave the waterfall section. Add hair, bring it over three times and then leave the waterfall section. Add hair again, bring it over two more times over to the middle strand and leave the waterfall section. Add hair from the top, bring it over, over and over, then leave the waterfall section. Add hair from top, bring it over, then over again and over third time and leave the waterfall section. Keep on repeating the same pattern until the braid reaches to the back of the head. And after the first braid, I create the same braid on the other side too. Both braids end to the back of the head. Next, I create the same braids under the first ones. With this braid, I use the strands I left out from the first braid. So, add hair, use that strand you left out on the first braid, bring it over, then two times more over and leave the waterfall strand. Add again hair, use that strand from the previous braid, bring it over, two times more over, total of three times, and leave the waterfall strand. So basically just the same braid you did before. Keep on repeating the pattern until the braid is as long as the first one. And here you can see I've created the braids on the both sides. Then I take this hair strand and put it away for the bow. And next I start to create the woven part. Take the hair strand from the both sides and cross them over each other. Then I take the second strand from the right side and bring it over from the strand comes out from the left. Then I take the strand from the left, bring it under and over to the strands which comes out to the right. Then take the strand from the right, bring it under and over to the strands which comes out to the left. Then take the strand from the left, bring it over, under and over. Take again a new strand from the right, bring it over, under and over. 
Then strand from the left, under, over, under, over. Then strand from the right, under, over, under, and over. And then new strand from the left side, over, under, over, under, over. And new strand from the right, over, under, over, under, and over. Always keep on woven the hair until it reaches to the middle of the woven part. So you need to woven all the hair strands which comes out from the upper side. And also always make the sure you woven differently as you did on the last time from this side. So if you started previously over, then you start now under. And if you started previously from this side, under, you need to start over on this time. If you accidentally woven the hair like you did on previous time, it looks like it would be the same strand, so strands won't sew up like it should be. If the woven part starts to look too loose, you can always pull the strands which comes out from it, so you can create the neat and tight woven section. When your woven part is ready, secure the most middlest hair sections of the work. Next, I show you how I create the bow. First, separate the hair section you left out previously in three sections. One very small and two bigger ones. Pull your topsy tail tool through the elastic which holds the braids. Then take the smallest hair section and bring it through the elastic. Leave the clear loop so shaping the bow is easier. Then take another from the bigger hair strands, make sure the hair is neat and then pull it through the loop like this. I use the bobby pin to secure this shape while I create another loop. Then I take the second bigger hair section, make sure that it's neat, and then pull it through the loop like you did with the first one. Shape the second loop as similar as the first one. Then take the smallest hair section and pull it tight around the bigger sections that create a bow. After that I remove the bobby pin and then I can shape the bow as I like. And then after some curls my work looks like this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you will have a great day.